Hi guys, it's me Andrea and I will show you today a faux oxide effect as I promise and uh, I already started here as you can see. I have a watercolor uh, paper here down here, very heavy one and I use a little sponge and dab some gesso on top randomly, you know, put it wherever you like but don't cover the whole card so leave some spots that it gets this stangy look you know and then I start and use my glycerin with my aqua markers here I take up some uh, glycerin on I have it on top of my craft mat into my little foam pad here and then um, take the paint or the color up and go over my card I use here different tones of blue and um, every time use my the glycerin and take the color off and go over the card so I said that before when I did this technique without this um, just on the background so it, um, it's easy to blend you can't get any blotches and very very easy so this is the darkest one I go over and then I finished. I think on another another color. Oh, another one. I think that's the darkest one. That's the last one now. So, <laughs> um, at the end, it really looks like um, a cloudy background, really like a sky. Absolutely nice. So you can see here, it was quite blotchy at the edges, and go over with the foam again. It, it's gone it's perfect so a bit of water sprinkle over it and I not taking it off with a kitchen towel I will dry it here with my uh, heat tool you can see there the stains already a bit I didn't want to have that many and I didn't want to take that much color off but a tiny bit of stains is or this sparkles or sprinkle it always looks nice nice and distressed that's what I like so that's it that's my background I will keep it very simple here I use this sparkle paste and that's so sparkly it's incredible and it's a very very tiny pot here but it is ex extremely it brings a really long way I was surprised how uh, covering that is you know I'm using a Sheena Douglas stencil here it won't stay like this um, when that dried I put a third um, element on you can see that here it's this three thing you know this odd number thing uh, I wanted to have that on and it looked a bit empty there on that side I'm not doing a lot more matted here on black cardstock and I put um, a word on it or a saying in German on it and uh, that's it um, it will be a card and I printed that off the computer put that here on some heavy watercolor that it's more dimensional and I cut it to size and glue it on that's it a bit of edging I think I do to get rid of the white edges but that's it so it says ich wünsche what does it say wünsche dir ein glanzvolles Jahr I think it means I wish you a shiny, sparkly year. It's for a birthday card. And it refers, of course, to the sparkly paste there. Really like that. That could be, even though it's sparkly, it could be something for a male. You know, that's it. You will see already the close up. I thank you a lot for watching, guys. I hope you like it. And if so, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And even a comment if you like. So that would be fantastic. I hope I see you soon with my next project. So have a fantastic time, guys. Bye-bye.